I've never really seen a Louis Vuitton bag like this before and I think it being in monogram canvas the collectors out there and anyone who is obsessed with monogram canvas will be very tempted by this bag Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. There are a few things from Louis Vuitton that I super love at the moment and I thought I'd discuss them today on this video. I'm wearing a beanie hat because I went walking before and then I took my hat off and I'm like, I cannot film my video. But I had all these like little dents on my forehead and it looks really weird so I just kept my hat on. So anyways, I was really interested in getting the little mini speedy from the Stardust collection but I, uh, I spent a lot this year guys and I just got my Lindy so I tried to resist it and I'm kind of happy that maybe I did because I've heard that the leathers in this collection are very inconsistent and that the on the go PM finish was somewhat prettier than the Nano Speedy. Let me know if I'm wrong about this guys it could be just from batch to batch country to country or the leather looks different as well but if you haven't already I would watch Living Lux with Meredith's channel. She um, unboxed a few gorgeous pieces from the Stardust collection and I especially am obsessed with the last bag she got so I think on the more premium price bags they really nailed the finish some of the stardust pieces are gorgeous so i'm totally not dissing the whole collection but i did hear that the leather varies in the on prop pieces it does um it was a little bit inc it, some things were more streaky and some were more shimmery and yeah i don't know guys i actually should probably go to louis vuitton and check it out myself okay guys i'm just at a louis vuitton store i'm not gonna go inside but just looking at them, I think they look really pretty. I mean, especially those ones. I don't know, I really like that purple. Definitely a bigger fan of the purple lilac color than the pink color. Oh, yeah, but guys, I gotta walk away. Um, yeah, I guess I, I really wanted something for the Stardust collection, but yeah, I resisted and I noticed now on the website it is uh, most of it is sold out so I think it's quite hard to get. If you are having you know regrets from for not buying anything for that collection guys um, I think Louis Vuitton are releasing a whole lot of other pretty bags this year so I wanted to share with you guys some of the pretty bags that I'm really into at the moment. I was initially really drawn to this purple color in this Alma BB. This color definitely reminds me of Morph Sylvester a little bit from Hermes. I think Morph Sylvester is a little bit more pinky but I'm really into this really light lilac. I feel like Louis Vuitton have done this before many many years ago. Maybe not but yeah i just think it looks so fresh with the silver hardware i'm not so into the sporty strap combination with the alma bb i think the sporty strap kind of lends itself to look better on like the pochette um even like a pochette matisse or like a speedy or like a multi pochette i think the alma looks better with just like the plain strap and it is annoying that if you do want this color you have to pay for the sporty strap as well because i don't really think it like works that well with the bag i mean maybe when if i try it on i'll like it but mm, i think i would wear this bag without the sporty strap so last year guys uh louis vuitton did a similar thing with their alma bb's and i think Nero noe bags they had you know just the alma bb with the sporty strap and they released them in all these really nice colors so i remember there was a green there was like a bright corally watermelon color I think there was a yellow as well, maybe an orange and a caramel color. And now they've done the same thing, but with a different color palette. And I'm really loving this color palette, guys. So firstly, you've got the lilac color. You have this really saturated, like, cyan blue color, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Like, it looks amazing with the silver hardware. I think this it, combination is really dreamy. And Epi Leather is super durable as well. So I think this would be an amazing addition just to anyone's wardrobe. I think this color is so gorgeous. And I also noticed that in the Neo Noe, they're gonna have really beautiful, like turquoisey sea green color. I love this color, like it is such a beautiful, like it's very hard to find this shade of green in a bag. I used to have a friend, well, she's still my friend, but um, I remember in high school, a friend who was obsessed with this color and she would buy everything in this color. Like you don't really find it that often in bags. So if you do like this beautiful sea green turquoise color, definitely this is the season for you guys. Cause I think they're gonna release it in the Neonoe 
um, and the Alma BB. And I also noticed that within this range, they're having a Clooney BB as well. So it's possible you could get all three colors in the, yeah, the Clooney BB as well. Um, I personally like the Alma BB the best, but I think the Neo Noe is, you know, quite a nice little bucket bag as well. So what do you guys think of these colors? I think they are like the best colors they've done yet. I am obsessed with the lilac color. I think that is so pretty, but the sea green color is also like really speaking to me. Now I noticed in the men's collection, they're going to have some fire. <laughs> Fire. um pocket organizers and the pocket organizer is not a slg that i've owned before but i have heard that the pocket organizer is a really good one to get if you're looking for a card holder it's a really thin design um you know the layout is really easy to use you can see all the cards really clearly at the moment i'm using the kelvy card holder from hermes and i love this card holder because of the bright color it is in a uh, chev leather the thing i don't love about this one is that uh, i feel like the cards are not that organized and you're kind of just like they're kind of just shoved in there whereas with the pocket organizer you've got the you know the proper slots for it and it even has like a little pouchy bit at the side so it's a really good layout for a card holder and uh this season guys if you love pocket organizers i know there are people who collect them they have a really gorgeous bright green colored one which kind of reminds me of the Bottega green trend but it's more of a fluorescent green and I think this would be adorable to have in any of your bags like you would never lose your wallet if you got this color and also green I think is pretty lucky color to get for a wallet so you might draw more money into your life if you get a green wallet I really like this one in particular and there's this beautiful deep like uh, it's kind of like a bright purple which I also super love uh Foxy LV uh um, all these pictures are from Foxy LV, by the way, so um, I'll link her Instagram below. I'm sure you guys are familiar with her Instagram, but she loves uh, purple, and I think she's she was saying she's going to add this one to her collection because it's not often that Louis Vuitton do these rich purple colors, and this one in particular is super saturated, and I really love it. I love it when colors really pop, and I'm just obsessed with it. So if I didn't already buy my Kelvy card holder, guys, I probably would have been tempted by one of these pocket organizers because I like how the colors are super bright and they actually are somewhat subtle because they don't scream Louis Vuitton. You've just got the embossing on it. But what what it's really showcasing is the amazing color and the leather. And I really like these in particular. Another bag which I'm obsessed with guys from the men's collection is called the S-Lock bag and I don't know if they've had this bag before. I have to do some research but it looks to me like a mini pochette Matisse style and I personally really like it. I like how it has a sporty strap. I think it looks like a really cute and practical piece and just like the perfect size for day to day for running errands. Obviously I'm obsessed with like the matching hardware, like the bright fluorescent green with the green hardware is so cool guys. I know um, like Louis Vuitton don't tend to do this with their bags. Uh, you'll see it commonly in like Dior, like they do uh, like matching hardware on their Lady Dior bags. I've also seen it at Hermes. They've done like uh, Pico tin bags with matching hardware, which looks really amazing. And Chanel also does it, but for Louis Vuitton to do it, I think it really works with this casual look. I'll be curious to know how the hardware wears over time, if the green paint will chip off, probably will but you know um it does look cool and I think it would be amazing if they also released this bag in the bright purple as well I, I mean because that bright purple is like breathtaking and can you imagine like the bright purple with the purple hardware like it would look so good I think as an everyday errands bag this is a really cute one to get and bright green you think it'd be hard to style but I think it, it, you could pull it off. Like, you'd wear green with brown. You could wear, like, I don't know. If you wear, like, neutral colors, sometimes you can style it. Um, but I think because they are slightly on the fluorescent um, spectrum, they might be more challenging to style if they were, like, muted down just a little bit. But I personally like how they're almost fluorescent. I think they are really cool bags. And finally, guys, I think probably the most hyped bag is this monogram bag. And it's called the Carry All PM. I think it closes with like a clip or a magnet or something. So the little like tie thing in the front is not um, actually 
functional. It's just for decoration, so you don't have to like like tie it up all the time. It's interesting because it comes with its own little pouch and a luggage tag and it looks like down the side you can adjust the strap to be longer or shorter shoulder bag. I don't know if you could make it a crossbody. Maybe if you put it on the last setting you can make it a crossbody as well. So it looks like a really practical bag. Um, at first when I saw it, it kind of reminds me of the Neverfull because it comes with its own little pouch. But now thinking about it, I've never really seen a Louis Vuitton bag like this before. And I think it being in monogram canvas, like the collectors out there and anyone who is obsessed with monogram canvas will be very tempted by this bag. And especially because they've done the pre-cheated, pre treated uh, leather. So the honey patina has already been done and it's just a little bit more fuss free. I, it would be, I wonder if they will release this with black trim. I don't know if it would look as good with black trim. I actually think that the honey patina look with this uh, brown monogram looks quite pleasing. I think it would be a good casual day-to-day -day bag. So the price is 2,370 US dollars. I think that's pretty like normal for Louis Vuitton these days. And it's nice that you get the little luggage tag and the, the matching pouch. Um, it's possible you could just sell off that pouch and get some of your money back as well if you wanted to. I personally like to keep things all together as a set, but yeah, I think it will be a pretty popular bag. I'm sure it will be very easy to use and comfortable to use by the looks of it. So I think it's good that Louis Vuitton are still releasing like monogram bags that are functional and very usable. Um, cause this one looks like a pleasure to use, honestly. It looks very easy to open, a lot of space, not too big, not too small, and it looks quite soft. So it will kind of mold to your body as you wear it. So it's not something that I would probably buy. Like, I feel like for me, if I was going to buy a monogram bag, I'd just get one secondhand for cheaper. In the past, I wasn't that way, but now that I'm kind of like into other bags, um, this one isn't calling my name in particular, but um, yeah, I mean, there are still so uh, 100 Kabean people who are obsessed with monograms, so that will definitely appeal to um, most people. So, yeah, guys, uh, what was your favorite bag that I mentioned today? Let me know. I think I'm probably most obsessed with the Alma Bibi. I think that one is so adorable, but I also think that the men's one is amazing. Uh, the one that kind of looks like a posh at Matisse. The only thing I'm worried about with that bag is the hardware chipping. Like, I wonder how durable that will be because I know for Louis, uh, Louis Vuitton, their gold hardware does chip, uh, like, over the years it does fade. And so I don't think that would look as nice on this bag if the green starts coming off. Yeah, but anyway, guys, let me know if you picked up anything from the Stardust collection as well. I really want to watch more unboxings of that collection because it was one that I'm really into. Thanks for watching my video and please like and subscribe to my channel. I would super appreciate it and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!